week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to create bars and dots in the same graph. First, let me explain what I'm talking about. You might want to look at sales by customer. So you have a simple chart like that. And let's filter it down so that we get all of the data in a single view. So I'm going to first maybe just look at sales for this year. How about we just look at sales in central? Maybe in the furniture category. I'm, again, I'm just trying to get this list smaller. Okay, and uh, maybe we need to just look at a specific customer segment, like maybe small business. Okay, excellent. So now we have a simple bar chart. Um, I personally like to go in here and format, switch everything to my favorite font, which is Century Gothic. All right, and then maybe format the names. Okay, very good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and let's leave it like that for now. So now we have a simple bar chart. And often what we wanna do is we wanna also look at the frequency of when these, when, when these customers made purchases. So the natural thing to do is to duplicate the sheet. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make all of these global now. So I don't have to repeat them. Okay, and what I'll do now is I'll, perhaps I'll look at, and Instead, I'll just want to look at every date that they purchased something. And maybe I just want to change that to circles. So this is just a little frequency uh, diagram. Okay, so from here, and I'll call this my frequency. From here, what we typically do is we then throw them on a dashboard. We put our bar chart here and maybe our line chart next to it, which isn't working out right. So let me throw a container in here. Okay, so we'd have something like that, maybe entire view, fit entire view, hide the title, hide the title, and then I would probably go ahead and uncheck the show hitter here. So now these look nice and neat. Maybe I'll do a little bit of formatting to remove the column dividers so that they look seamless. Okay, great. And you can see that we now have uh, all of our customers in order with their frequency. The problem is we can't sort. So if I sort this one, you'll see it goes from lowest to highest, but this one did not sort. So now everything is messed up and there's no way to actually turn sorting off in Tableau. So what I want to show you is how to put both of these in the same view so that you then can leverage sorting. So I'm going to start by just duplicating this sheet. Let me move it over here a little bit. And uh, I'm going to then, I'm going to actually take order date and put that in the columns as well. And now you'll notice I get a, I get a Tableau automatically switches the chart type. So I'm just gonna go ahead here and switch my mark type for my sales to a bar and switch the order type, mark type to a circle. Okay, and now I have both in the same view. So I'll call this bars and dots. And then when I put this on a dashboard, maybe I'll go ahead and call this uh, correct method. And I can go ahead and maybe I'll, I'll just go ahead and throw this on here now. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Maybe hide the title. And now we have a nice neat uh, uh, view of customer and the dots and their frequency in the same view. Let me go ahead and make this entire view. And now when I sort, you'll see that my dots sort as well. So now Eileen Fletcher is at the top. If I want to sort in descending order, I'll see Lisa Branch at the top. So that's a really quick tip, a really neat way to be able to combine two chart types in the same view, even though one is a just a regular old metric axis and the other one is a time axis. So I hope that helps and have a great week.